Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today our topic for the day is uh, area of quadrilaterals and for today we are going to focus on area of a parallelogram. So when we look at the area of quadrilaterals, we have other areas like quadrilateral is a four-sided figure and examples are like rectangles, squares, rhombus parallelogram, trapezium, and kite. So if we remember uh, the area of a rectangle is length times width, the length is the longest uh, side, width is the shortest side, while the area of a square, which all sides are equal, is going to be uh, well, two sides. You just take a side and you square it. And when you look at the area of a parallelogram, is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are equal and they are parallel. So it's usually given as area is base times height, where base is the base and height is the perpendicular distance between the given pair of parallel sides. So when you are given, in the case where you're given, in this case, you've been given the base and you have the height, you can get the height by dropping a perpendicular, as you can see, a perpendicular bisector, in this case at CP. So the, the formula will be B, 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 base times height. But there are some cases that you've been given an angle. If you're given an angle now, this formula looks like the formula for area of a triangle, but the only difference is a triangle with uh, two sides and an angle, but there is no half. So this is a b sine uh, alpha in this case is our angle so let's do a few examples so that you can be able to see what we mean and which cases you use which formula so that you can be able to remember so when you're given such a question you can see we have the base and the height since the list is the longest so it's going to be our b it's going to be our h remember this side is prior to this side so the formula here is going to be area is base times height. So our base is going to be 2.5 and our height is 1.8. So this is very direct. Your work is just to multiply. So it's going to be 2.5 times 1.8, which gives you 4.5. So the area is going to be 4.5 and it is meter square. So when you look at this now, you can see this side is 10 centimeters and this side is 5 centimeters. So when you notice that you have now these two sides and an angle, instead of using our base times height, now we can use the second formula which is equals to AB sine the angle. So in this case, our A is going to be 5 centimeters, our B is going to be 10 and then sine 70. So this is the same as 50 sine 70. Once again, you can decide to use um, the logarithm method to be able to get this calculation where you get the log of sine 70, you get the log of 50, of course, after converting it into a standard form, and then after you add them together, you get the antelope. There's that process. Or alternatively, you can read the sine 70 from the table. So sine 70 is going to be 0 0.9397. And then the moment you get this, you say 50 times 0 0.9397. So when you multiply 50 times 0 0.9397, it gives you 46.985, and in this case is centimeters square. So you see how your work becomes easy. You don't have to go to the long method of also trying to look for the height because this is a perpendicular bisector. You have this angle, you get this angle, you use the, the different methods. So you can just use this formula. You can remember this formula and always use it. It makes your work easier. Let's do another example. 
So you have been given this. So you can see we have an angle here. Remember this angle is corresponds to this angle. So this angle is also 130. That tells you we can get these two angles by adding. So 130 plus 130 gives us 260. So the total angles in this uh, parallelogram is going to be 360. So 360 minus 260 gives us 100 degrees. And these two angles are equal, so it's going to be 100 divided by 2, which gives us 50 degrees. So this tells you this is 50 and this is 50. So you see, you don't have go to go to the to start looking for the height again, you drop a perpendicular. That's going to take you a lot of time. So instead, you use the formula where we said a b sine the angle. So in this case, our a is going to be 4 and our b is going to be 6. And then in this case, it's going to be sine 50. So 4 times 6 will give us 24 times sine 50. So once again, you can decide to go to the long method. When you decide to go to the long method uh, or the logarithm method, in the case where you don't have a mathematical table, but either way, even logarithm, you need the mathematical tables. You can look for the log of 24 and get the log of sine 50 and then add the product and then you look for the antilog. But in this case, instead of going through all that process, you just read sine 50 from your table, which gives you 0 0.7660. And now, instead of like going through that long method, just multiply it by 24. So when you do 24 times 0 0.7660, uh, it gives you 18.384. And in this case, it's going to be centimeters uh, squared. And that is the answer. Let's do one final question. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram of area 120. So let's show that. So our area is 120 centimeters cubed. The base is 10. So let's pick this as the base. Remember this and this are, uh, they are prior and equal. And then, so this is going to be, um, we can choose A, B, C, D, either way, or you can go the other way around A, B, C, D. So angle A, B, C, this angle is 30 or this angle. Remember these two angles are equal. is 30 degrees. Find the length. So we are basically have been told to look for this side. So we have been given this is 10 centimeters. So we are looking for this side. So this is a case where we have two sides and an angle. So we are going to use A, B. Assign 30, so which is equals to 120. So our A will be 10, so it's N times B times sine 30 is equals to 120. So this gives us a B times 10 sine 30. So we work out the 10 uh, sine 30. So remember what we said, you can decide to use the long method. Or you can just directly read sine 30 from the table. So sine 30 from the table is going to give us um, 0 0.5. So if it gives us 0 0.5, then we can multiply that by 10. If we multiply 0 0.5 times 10, it gives us 5. So it's going to be B times 5, basically, is equals to 120. Uh, centimeters cubed. So this is going to be 5b is equals to 120 centimeters cubed. You divide by 5, you divide by 5. So 120 divided by 5 will give us 24 centimeters. So that is the side that other side is 24. 
So that's it. That brings us to the end of the subtopic. You can check out more topical revision questions on uh, this lesson and notes in the app. And see you in the next lesson.